Hello guys, my name is Vikram. Today I'm going to show you how to pass the value of parameters from a main job to child sub jobs in Dell and Open Studio or Jasper ETL. Many a times we come across a scenario where we <coughs> want to uh, send the values of parameters from the main job across the child jobs for example connection parameters that we define in a context variables or some static uh, hard coded parameter values that we define that we want in a child jobs so in these scenarios we need to send the values from a main job to the child job so uh, i'm going to display by using a very simple example so here i have an input file which contains employee id employee name and employee salary there are four records in the employee file so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a simple job uh, wherein I'm reading this file and passing all the uh, values to the child job and the child job will display all these values one by one so first of all let's create a child job in a child job I've created a simple T Java component wherein in the component properties I can show you I'm just printing the values that I'm getting that I'll be getting from the main job. So here what I'm doing is I'm printing employee ID, employee name, and employee salary. I've created a context variables for all three uh, values to be displayed, and you can see that uh, I've kept these values as none because we'll be getting the values from the main job. Now if I directly run this job you can see that nothing is being displayed in the value in the variables employee id employee name and employee salary now what i'll do is i'll create one main job in the main job i've read that employee file and showing it in a run console using t log row component i just want to show you how it is being read so you can see that it is uh, all the four records are being read now the objective is to pass pass all these uh, values to the child subjobs so now what we'll do is we'll drag this child subjob that we've just created and right click key log row, row and name and select the child subjob now this what this will do is this will execute child subjob after t log row now our objective is to pass the values so right click the child subjob settings and in settings in the context parameter box add three parameters one with employee id employee name and employee salary now we are going to get the values from The main job in the main job we're getting this value from this link so two dot employee underscore id so two dot employee underscore name so three dot employee underscore salary now these parameters will only appear if a child job has defined context variables so in I, I showed you earlier that we had three context variables defined in the child job. So whenever we uh, add variable, whenever we add variables in this section, it will automatically display all the context variable in the child job. Select variable and its value. Now, if you see, we're getting these employee ID, name, and salary from row to link, and passing it to child sub job like this now I'll run this job and show you what we saw now you can see that for first record so what is happening is for every record this child job is executing iteratively. So it executes for first records, it is getting the values from the 
main job and setting the a2 context variables and then it is being displayed here similarly for second record it is again executing the child sub job and setting the values of the context parameters from the main similarly for third and fourth row and this is our input that we have showed in the t log the content so guys basically to to uh, pass the values from main job to child sub job define the context variables in the child's job and then from the main job pass these values of those context parameters using the settings of a t uh, run job component or a child sub job component if you have any queries regarding this you can let me know in the coming articles i'll also try to uh, demonstrate how to pass the values from child sub jobs to the parent job